Hey, I'm going to talk more about revision because revision really helps me. And revision is the technique of changing a past event that affects you today. So it can be a bad event an event that's stopping you from progressing, an event you just like to forget, an event that just happened, an event that just happened like a minute ago. It can be like that. It can be the blocks that are keeping you from manifesting. You can revise those by saying, I have no blocks from manifesting. You know, or you just go back in that last manifest you tried and, and say there was no blocks, you know, and then you just... For me, removing the whole thing works better than trying to revise it. Now you might come up with some empty spots, I haven't really felt that, I just remove it and bring the whole, bring the whole uh, feeling of joy to that section of my life. I've been using it to remove whole sections of my history from my childhood, you know. And it, it really helps take away the energy of the negative situations I was in. It just it just totally negates those. What would you say? It, it just um, it, uh, it it makes them lose their energy. So we'll go into revision and explain a little bit more about it for people that haven't heard about it. And it's taken from the pruning shears of revision. And uh, you might have done something like this on your own, but Neville's technique for it in this pruning shears really works well. Uh, I've never thought about actually just removing the whole situation, and that's that's what works the best for me. I've always revised stuff that was really deep and hard and to where I was the victor. Um, but I never actually just totally removed the whole situation and that's a really helpful situation for me. So if you have a situation or years of your life that you'd like to forget, a big chunk of time, say a, a bad relationship, a bad childhood, a bad uh, ex, a bad uh, anything, Tra traumatic experiences, these can hold you back from uh, having hope, you know, these can hold you back from having positivity in your life, I believe they can, they can hold you back from feeling, uh, they can make you feel helpless, these big chunks of time, so you take away that big chunk of time, that small situation, anything that you, that you lost and you feel like you just can't win, you'd like to uh, have it become different, have a different result, um, you just take it out of your life, I think is the best way. For me, you know, you can also revise it. Revision is actually just rewriting, right? So let's say a bridget, a new word, a bridged, a bridged edition of your life. You can shorten your life, uh, your past life, past life experiences with an abridged version, something that just came to me where you're just taking out the useless parts and keeping in the main parts. You have an abridged story, which means it's shortened. Uh, and uh, like I said, you can either rewrite the past experiences or you can remove them. I choose to remove them because I'm pretty lazy. Rewriting is uh, takes more thinking. Remove them and just change them into, you know, white joy, you know, just that's, that's what I'm, I'm doing, you know, that's what I've done, uh, today a, a, a negative thing came up, uh, just as, it'd be kind of like a small thing compared to all the other things, but it was still there, and I just said, hey man, this, this is gone, this never happened, you know, just white, white joy in its place, just white, pureness, hope, joy, love, white, white, beautiful white light, in its place. So we're going to go re revision. Here are the instructions from Neville's 1954 lecture. 
the pruning shears of revision. I just drank some water and I'm gonna go get some more. Be right back. Here are the instructions from Neville, I believe, or maybe this is someone that rewrote them. Now I just do revision real fast. This is revision before you want to go to sleep, which you know, I just uh, haven't. I've done, I guess, but not really in a heavy way. I've always done my uh, thinking about bringing the end into the now. I've done that before I go to sleep, but I just do revision automatically, you know, or right away. I'm going to try this uh, deeper probably sometime when I remember. Deeper going into it when I go to sleep. But uh, revision just helps me, and it's like almost like automatic now. So these are the instructions. Review an event that didn't go the way you wanted it to. Don't judge it, just review it. Now, when the event pops up, I just, the events that I don't want to remember, I, it just pops up, I just uh, revise it right away. Uh, I mean, it's already judged, you know, that it's terrible. So, I, I wouldn't even worry about that part. But he says, don't judge it, just review it. Now, he knows more than me, of course, so just don't judge it. <laughs> if you can't help judging it, then just get past that part, you know. It's really hard for humans not to judge and especially not to prejudge it's hard for us you know it's just human nature we're all prejudiced a little bit in certain things you know we just judge things when we see things and that's just uh, human nature doesn't necessarily have to be people but if you see something you think is ugly you're judging it already if you see so something you think is beautiful you're judging it already you know anything or anybody so the instructions again are review an event that didn't go the way you wanted it to go don't judge it just review it two in your imagination rewrite it and revise the event the way you wish it would have gone and once again I'm gonna say just make the event disappear that's my technique make it disappear it never happened and it's replaced with beautiful white light or whatever you want to put there any, any space and time, you know, it can just be cut out, just like a, sections of a movie can be cut out. I think that's an easy, lazy, lazy manifestor way. So, okay, then number three, get into the state akin to sleep. The state akin to sleep is abbreviated as S-A-T-S, and that, for me, it's just the twilight time when you're just drifting off to sleep, but you're not asleep yet and you don't want to be asleep, you want to be awake. So, other people's, uh, uh, I don't worry about it that much, but if you want to, if you really want to stay up, then you can sit up, you know what I mean, or make yourself uncomfortable. There's, there's uh, uh, suggestions from different, different practitioners like this. Me, I just do it, and if I fall asleep, I fall asleep, you know. That's the way I look at it. And you, you, know, you fall asleep, you get up, you do it again. No problem there for me, you know. So I don't let stuff worry me. Like you know, I, I'm not a perfectionist in life. The only time I do something perfect is if, if is if it is for a client, someone else. I'll get it as perfect as I can. If it's my work, generally it's going to be put it out there, get it out there, get it out there. You might see that in my videos. They're not perfect. But they're they're continuous, you know what I mean? They're they're getting they're out. So done is better than perfect. That's my that's my philosophy in life. Get it done. You can always perfect it later. And it's very rarely you get anything perfect. I think I, I don't know. Thing. I don't think anything's perfect. But uh, uh, there might be some things that are perfect, like an egg. How can you say an egg is not perfect? But I did. I can't make an egg. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe someday I can make an egg. An egg is perfect. The tree is perfect. The stuff. My work is not really perfect, but it, it is done. You know, and it'll, it's becoming perfection. So back again to this. You get into that sleep. That's akin to sleep. That state akin to sleep. S A T S. Many wonder what this means. It is simply a state where you feel completely, completely relaxed and can be done 
in any comfortable position. Number four, relive the revised event in your imagination over and over again until the image state begins to take on the tones of reality. That is, until it starts feeling as though it may have actually happened the way you would have preferred. Five, either fall asleep while repeating the scene or wake up from this drowsy state once you know it is done. Neville advises us at the end of each day to revise our day the way we wish it would have gone. Then relive the day in our imagination in accordance with our desires until it feels real. So this is uh, Neville, Neville's advice to do it every day at the end of each day and revise the day to make it go how you wish it would have gone. This is just changing your day in your mind, in your feelings, in your space, in your energy, whatever you call it, in your own dimension. What is that word those guys are using? I, I don't know. Uh, states, I guess you might say, or in your awareness, you know. I think there's simpler ways to say it, but, you know, everybody wants to hear their word, their way of saying it. It all means the same thing kind of in the end. It's the feeling behind the words for me. At any rate, yeah, I tend to forget. Uh, uh, I'm not even going to say that. I tend to remember everything that's important. I'm just going to revise that thought right now. So don't be a perfectionist unless you really want to be. I think getting it done is more important than making it perfect. Neville advises us at the end of each day to revise our day the way we wish it would have gone. Then relive the day in our imagination in accordance with our desires until it feels real. Through this method you can revise any unwanted event and you will find that in the coming days and weeks things will start to change for the better in accordance with your revision. Okay, so there's a good point for actually doing revising instead of just doing removal because it might actually help change the future. Now, I actually did this the other day that some, some guy bothered, you know, there's some, some guy I just don't agree with here on social media and I don't bother him and he comes to me and I just always felt vibey about him, you know, kind of crunchy about this guy and I just revised that he, he was just on his way, you know, doing something different rather than looking at what I'm doing. Uh, it was kind of aggravating me a bit, and he doesn't even seem to, he's not trying to be that way, like he's not a troll, he just got opinions that differ from mine, maybe, and I don't really want to hear his opinions, you know. <laughs> I don't see the need to expend energy for each other if, if we don't agree on stuff. And so I kind of revised that, you know, just kind of quickly. And I haven't heard from him since, so maybe, maybe uh, that's a good uh, reason for doing actual revision of a situation. That's a very small situation, but... Alright, well, I guess I'll read some more, since we'll finish this off. It seems that it's real that I actually did experience it and I have found from experience that these revised days if really lived will change my tomorrows Neville's a genius man when I meet people tomorrow that today disappointed me they will they will not tomorrow they will not disappoint me tomorrow for in me I have changed the very nature of that being, and having changed him, he bears witness tomorrow of the change that took place within me. That's pretty deep. So he's saying that the change, the interaction comes the change in the interaction comes from Neville, right? 
but it's affecting the, the other guy, but not really in, in just the state, in just the state that they're kind of uh, relating to each other, right? So he's just saying the change is only with, within their relationship, I think. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So anyway, that comes from Neville Goddard, The Pruning Shears of Revision, 1954. I don't have much more to see on revision right now except uh, try both ways, and I suggest you try it, you know. I don't think you have to wait till you're asleep. I don't. Just do it right away, man. Even if you had an encounter on the anywhere, you know, just now, just a simple little thing that aggravated you and aggravated the other person, and just, uh, you could just stop, man, get for 30 seconds, a minute, and revise it in your mind, so it kind of goes away, and maybe next time it will be better, and you can work on it deeper, of course, you know, so you really believe it, but for me, it's pretty much automatic and instantaneous, and I really am thankful for that, it can happen quickly, that's a long video, 15 minutes. It takes a long time to upload, but I'm going to revise that and say everything's uploading very fast. And uh, thanks for being here. Talk to you soon. Have a revised day, everybody. Take care.